We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Just stay with him. Stay with him. I don't feel the release to pray yet. Just stay with him. I feel the presence of the Lord. Holy Spirit, touch. Touch. Touch Ryland. Touch Vanessa. Touch Deanna. Touch Josh. Touch both Melissa. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them in Jesus' name. Touch them in Jesus' name. Touch. Release the power of the Holy Spirit. Touch them even now. Even now. Right now. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Right now. Yeah. 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 Holy Spirit. I'm going to turn down the worship a bit. I felt the Lord drop this in my spirit. I mean, as we were just worshiping earlier, we wait upon the Lord. And I just feel like the Lord dropped this in my spirit. Then He took me to Numbers. Numbers 11, 11, Numbers 11, 11, which is not a book. I typically read, read much of it. But it's interesting. It said here, I felt the Lord is telling us something this morning. I don't know who this is for. Number 11, 11. So Moses said to the Lord, why have you afflicted your servant? <clears throat> why have I not found favor in your sight? And that you have laid the burden of all these people on me. So the context is where people of God was complaining, right? You know, they were in they were in the wilderness, they were complaining it was better in Egypt than then, you know, coming out, being delivered. Now in the wilderness, they're complaining about all the different things, which actually created in the, even the, the verse 10 said the Lord was greatly aroused. The anger of the Lord is greatly aroused. So Moses was also displeased. And that's why Moses was Moses joined, joined the choir of people of Israel at the time, Jew, just complaining against the Lord to say, Lord, what, what is the deal? Why are you giving me these people? Right? Like, these are not my problems. Like, I didn't birth them. That's what the Lord says. That's why Moses was complaining. Moses was complaining. When, when God clearly ordained Moses, say, you shall be like a God to him. Go, go read Exodus. The Lord, Mo, the Lord told Moses, you shall be like a God. So, so the Lord told Moses, say, I appoint you as the leader of your people. So Moses obviously forgot about that when he mentioned, when he was complaining to the Lord. And that happens to us, all of us. Sometimes we forget the, the promise of God, what the Lord actually spoke to us. Right? We're here because the Lord spoke to us. And sometimes when we obey the Lord and we get disappointed, we get jaded, we get resentful. Say, like, Lord, I'm doing the assignment of God. I'm walking and calling. Why am I not seeing the results? Like, why, why are you giving me this? I, I don't want this. Right? And so this is the same context here. I felt this was a message of the Lord sharing with us today prophetically. You know, in verse 12, did I conceive these people? Did I forget them? Should you guys say carry them in your bosom? Blah, blah. He's basically just going on and on complaining. Then <clears throat> in verse 15, Moses said to the Lord, If you treat me like this, please kill me here and now. Wow. Moses, the mighty man of God. So think about it. He is just like, he's a man. I'm talking about that term plural, male and female. He's just like us as a human being, right? Moses said that, right? If you ever, if you ever think about it, I think all of us have said at one point, has Lord, why am I here? Where are you, God? And so Moses said, if I found favor in your sight, do not let me see my wretchedness. And the Lord said to Moses, verse 16, the Lord said to Moses, gather to me 70 men of the elder of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people, officer over them, bring them to the tabernacle of the meeting that they may stand there with you. So the Lord gave Moses 
the strategy, the blueprint. You notice that Moses didn't know what to do, right? This was a leadership lesson for Moses. This was a leadership lesson. But you know the resource to help Moses, the 70 elder Israel, which he appointed to help him govern basically, is already there. You notice it's already there. It's not, it's not like these people had to be uh, abroad from afar somewhere. It's already in the midst that Moses can readily access. He just doesn't know how to utilize them. He didn't know how to, what those resources can do for him. Right? Until the Lord opened up his mind, gave him wisdom and leadership on how to govern. So, beloved, I want to share with you today. One, I feel like this is a gentle encouragement and correction of the Lord. Beware of your complaining. Beware of your complaining. You're called by the Lord to do what you're supposed to do. Be beware of complaining while in the midst of you doing what the Lord has called you to do. Beware. Not that I say you can't complain. Especially you want to complain, complain to the Lord himself. Take it, release, take that burden to the Lord. Talk to the Lord about it. Not, not people. Right? So, because the great anger was aroused when, when the Lord heard the complaint. And, and then you also you see when, the, when Moses cried out to him, truly in repentance. He said, Lord, I'm weak. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a wretched man. Like, give me, help me. Right? When you cry in sincerity, in repentance and humility to him, the Lord will help. The Lord will help. He responds to that. It's a one part of his nature. So if you notice, Moses respond, the, the Lord responds to Moses to give him strategy to how to use the resource he already gave him. So what is in your life, resource, provision, people, relationship that the Lord already given you, already given you? But maybe you're not using it the way you should be. You're not accessing it the way you should be. So we're gonna want. I want just. I feel like this is a prophetic message from the Lord. That we want just pray into this morning that the Lord would first of all repent for our complaint. If you're complaining, just repent and ask God. We're gonna ask God for to make a way to release the distress, the pressure, even the weariness, perhaps. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for this word, Lord. We thank you for the word of the Lord shall run swiftly and be glorified. That you would seal this word by the blood of Jesus. Father, we repent right now, even now for complaining, for murmuring, for bickering, for backstabbing. However subtle it might be. Lord, repent. Repent. Whether it's with our family members, with our spouse, with our neighbor, with our children, with a complaint about other ministries and pastors. Lord, forgive us, God. Forgive us. We repent. Just do it. Just let's pray together. Lord, we repent for our sins. We repent for our iniquity and transgression. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you that we can come boldly before the throne of grace and cry out. That you will blot out every transgression. You will, you will remove every corruption of our sin and unrighteousness. Father, thank you right now. We receive the benefit of the cross. We thank you for your blood. Even now, help us transform, renew our mind as the mind of Christ. Renew our mind as the mind of Christ. As the mind of Christ. There's a mind of Christ. Just say it. Renew my mind. Cry out to the Lord. Renew our mind. Is the mind of Christ. Renew my, my mind. Renew my family's mind. Renew my children's mind. My spouse. Renew our mind. Is the mind of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Renew our mind right now. Right now. Remove every lies. Every system of false belief, doubt, confusion, let it be uprooted and burned up by fire, according to Matthew 3.10. Right now, 
Anything did not plant it. Anything you did not ordain deposit in us. Anything is not the identity of Christ. Father, let it be removed from us. Regurgitated. Burned up by fire of the Holy Ghost now. Renew our mind. Reprogram our mind. It's the mind of Christ. The knowledge of God. The truth that sets free. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Come Holy Spirit. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Every false mindset that was rooted in trauma. Every false mentality that we believed in. The complaining, the murmuring because our circumstances that's tied to trauma of the past, trauma of the childhood. Let it be severed now in Jesus' name. Father, release healing to those roots. Remove every root of bitterness. And, and I declare the blood of Jesus will go in every places there was bitter water. Bitter water from our past. Bitter water in our life. Release the blood of Jesus. To infuse and permeate those places. Turn water into wine. Mm. Turn water into wine. Father, turn water into wine today. Right now by the blood of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit now. In each and every one of our lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, give us wisdom. He said, you will give wisdom freely to those who ask. Father, we just ask for wisdom. The spirit of wisdom of revelation come. Give us wisdom. Give us wisdom. Give us wisdom. Among Yes, it will pour out the wisdom of God over me. I feel the Lord. Yep, the spirit of wisdom is coming on somebody. Father, we thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Right now, touch everyone. The spirit of wisdom and revelation. Open up the eyes of our heart. To see you and see the truth rightly. Right now. Open up. Open up. Open up. Right now. Right now. Right now. Give us wisdom. 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 Every area. Life and godliness. Every area of our life. Every area. Give us wisdom. Wisdom in our marriage. Wisdom with our children. Wisdom in the business. Wisdom with our career, finances, ministry, church. Every facet. Wisdom in leadership. Wisdom in leadership. Wisdom in leadership in the name of Jesus. Father, just like you release the resource. To, you activate the 70 elders. So Father, I ask right now. Activate the destiny helpers. Accidentally activate the destiny helper that which is ordained for our life. Activate them and bring them. Release them. Bring them into fruition. Into our lives in Jesus' name. And activate us as destiny help for someone else. That you will send us to them. You will send us to them. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. We declare that right now. We thank you for wisdom. We thank you for wisdom. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 